This is part two of the simple snake game build in JavaScript. The full source code, as well as a written version of this tutorial, are all available on my website. In our game over method, we change the current screen being drawn back to menu, and we test if the currently achieved score for the current game is greater than the currently stored best score. If this is the case, then we change the new best score value to the current score property, and we set the new best boolean flag to true to show that the player has obtained a new best score. We will now create an onload function for our window. This will begin by assigning the 2D drawing context for our canvas element to the global variable ctx. We'll then calculate the values of the offset x and offset y globals needed to center our map on the canvas when drawing by subtracting half of the overall map width or height from the overall canvas width or height respectively. We'll add a click event listener to our canvas element, which will assign the coordinates of the event to the mouse state click property. The coordinates will first be modified by the real pos function we'll be creating shortly to be relative to the top left of the canvas element itself and not to the top left of the overall document. We'll also add a mouse move event listener to our canvas, which will keep the mouse state X and Y properties updated with the mouse's position when it's moved over the canvas. The positions will once again be modified with the real pos function to make them relative to the top left of the canvas element and not to the top left of the overall HTML document. We'll also add an event listener to the window itself for the key down event which fires when a key is first pressed. For each of the directional arrow keys, which will change the direction of the snake respectively, and also for the letter F key to toggle on whether or not the frame rate should be displayed, toggling the show frame rate global boolean. Finally, in our Windows onload method, we'll let the window know that when it's ready to begin rendering, it can call the draw game method. We'll now create our draw menu function, which will be called whenever the screen is drawn and the current screen being displayed as the menu screen. This will begin by setting the canvas's text alignment to center and the font properties as we wish to have them display the new game text and then setting the fill style of the text, the colour, to either a blue or black, depending on whether or not the current mouse Y value is between 150 and 220 or not. We'll then draw the text New Game in the centre of the screen. We'll then change the font and draw the text Best Score and the current Best Score for the game. If the player achieved a new best score during their last playthrough, we'll then draw a bit of text to show the player this fact. Also, if they've just finished a game and they scored anything at all, we'll draw some text to show what their last score was during their previous play. We'll now create the draw playing method, which will be called whenever the screen is drawn and the current screen being drawn is the playing screen or the game screen, which begins by setting the canvas stroke style and fill style colors to black.
we then draw just the borders of a rectangle around the edges of the game map at the offset X and Y positions. And we then loop through all of the segments that make the snake body. And for each of the positions, we draw a black filled rectangle at the position of this segment with the width and height equal to the tile width and height properties. We then change the canvas font and text alignment and draw the current score on the screen. We then change the fill style color to green and we draw a filled rectangle at the position of the new food block. Our draw game method is our main game loop function, which is called every time the game is updated. It first of all checks if the CTX global variable is null, in which case we exit the function because there's been some problem setting up the canvas 2D drawing context. Next, we set the current frame time to the current time in milliseconds and calculate the time elapsed by subtracting the time of the last frame from the current frame time and we add the time elapsed to the overall elapsed game time. We then call our update game method. We then calculate the frame rate by fetching the current seconds since the epoch Unix time and seeing if it's the same as the current second was during the last game update. If it's not, then we set the current seconds to this second we've just calculated and we set the frames last seconds to the current frame count and reset the frame count to 1. Otherwise, we simply increment the current frame count for the current second. We then set the fill style for the canvas to a very light blue, and then clear the canvas by filling a rectangle covering the entirety of the canvas with that colour. If the show frame rate global boolean is toggled to true, then we'll display the current frame rate. We'll set the canvas text alignment and font and fill style for the font color and draw the text frames for the number of frames that were successfully rendered last second. Then depending on the value of the game state screen property, we'll call either the draw menu or draw playing method to draw the appropriate screen. Finally, We'll update the last frame time to the current frame time and we'll let the browser know that when it's ready to draw another animation frame to call this function again with the request animation frame method. Finally, we'll create our real pos function, which will convert the X and Y mouse position from a mouse event into their actual position relative to the top left of our canvas element. It will do this by looping through the parent elements of the canvas and subtracting their X and Y offsets from the X and Y event properties until we reach the top element and then return the modified X, Y values. The result of this now completed code is our simple implementation of the snake game. From this point, should you wish to do so, you can implement additional features, better graphics and other game adaptations.